British All Telecom. Food. British <laughs> Telecom. Shares everywhere. When are you going? When are you going to stop? Never, never. But why don't Keep you on going. Why don't you change your act? Oh, you couldn't change it. How would you change it? I'm looking for new material all the time. Well, Irish that... fella sat in a pub, his mobile phone rang, he said, how do you know I was here? <laughs> you know who'd love that gag? You know who'd love that gag? Hugh Scully for the Antiques Roadshow. He'd love that gag, you just told. There you go, you go again. Old I ones are best, aren't I can buy they? and sell you, Scully. Could you? They're all waiting for me to die, see what I'll leave. That, it's not to see what you leave, Bernard. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's not why okay. they're waiting. To peace on earth. This poor bugger will be working when he's 150. Morris, what would you like to ask? Well, Bernard probably won't remember this, but a long time ago now, about 30 years to the day, actually, I'd been drinking in Manchester with some of my mates, and the driver had been arrested by the police for drunken driving, and so we had to thumb our way back to Rochdale. <laughs> And we were thumbing our way, and who should stop with this great big long Jaguar with Bernard in it? And Bernard didn't live in Rochdale, but he took us all the way back to our homes and back again. Sweet. What I want to ask Bernard is, A, does he still drive a Jaguar, and B, would he have picked me up if it had been black? <laughs> <laughs> no. I remember that, I, I remember that little uh, version, and you've gone smaller. <laughs> You're, you're absolutely right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you should, go on, answer the second You should be in a garden with a fishing rod in your <laughs> I remember the incident. I remember the incident. I don't drive a Jaguar now. I drive a Rolls Silver Spirit. Whee! Yes. And if you'd have been black, you'd have still been stood there. <laughs> okay. But I thought you weren't a racist, Bert. No, no. I just so why would you have left a black man standing there? I just don't, I don't, I just, I just don't pick black people up in Rolls Royces. Why? Because I, I just don't. I'm entitled why? to Why? I mean, because it's my prerogative. I can, I can pick who I like up. I can eat what I want, I can drink what I want, I can say what I want. It's a free country. But I That's why all our troops, our troops, died at Dunkirk, and Anzio, and Arnhem, and Monte Cassino. Lots of black people died in those Not battles. Not at Dunkirk, my friend. No, no. Were you? The, 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 no, no. The Commonwealth Army. My brother was at all these places. The Commonwealth um, Army was, was fought yes. absolutely oh, through the did, war. Oh, they did, they did, they did. Indians, yes, Africans. They did. But not for us. They fought for themselves. You don't think you'd oh. let them off the hook, would you, when they won the war? There's no package at Dunkirk. Right up. And Arnhem. Mary, what would you like to ask Bernard? Bernard, we've listened to you talking a bit about dying tonight. Yes. Could I just be serious for a moment? Could I just be serious for a moment? When you do die, if you actually get to heaven, yes. how would you feel when God says, come over and sit with all these black people because I made them as well? What if God's black? <laughs> ah, that's right. Then. Yes. What if he is? Will he get a council house? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what, what, what was that question again, my love? <laughs> How would you feel when God says, come and sit with all these black people? I made them, as well as making you, Bernard Manning. What will I say? I don't How think God will admit to making him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the devil's own work. I'll say, JC, baby, do the trick with the loaves and fishes. Let's all have a sandwich. And do you think he'll laugh? Because we didn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you thank Bernard Manning and Richard Wilson? There's more from Mrs Merton on Thursday at 10.30 with guests Nigel Kennedy and Barry McGuigan. And if you can't wait till Thursday, Barry's also on side with John Inverdale next.